Hey all, it's Linda. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be doing another in the Will I Buy It series. So this was started by Samantha March here on YouTube. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to look through all of the upcoming or recently released makeup releases and let you know whether or not they are going on my wish list whether or not they even intrigue me, whether I think they're absolute piles of garbage, I'm gonna tell you all about it. And I do have to say, I am back kind of on my low buy. I really haven't bought much new makeup at all, but I have been twitching a little bit, okay? I have been really wanting to do some makeup shopping. I did a very small impulse makeup purchase the other day when I went to Ulta to buy somebody a gift certificate. So like that twinge is coming back and there are some of these releases, like right when fall hits, right when spooky season hits, that's when my inspiration kind of starts to come back and I really want to wear makeup again and I want to play with makeup. Like I just sat this morning and freaking played with makeup and I haven't done that in so, so, so long. So I do have to admit like that's kind of twinging in me lately. So I'm almost a little worried to do this. How I do my will I buy it is I will look at the new makeup releases and give you my like first thoughts right on the spot. I haven't studied these. Like I didn't spend you know, the day prior taking screenshots and studying these. So a lot of these I might be seeing for the first time. A lot of these might be brand new to me. So you're gonna get my honest reactions and you might even see me go through it a little bit. There have been so many where I'm like, I think this is something I want. But do I really need it? No, I don't need it, but I do really want it. But do I need it? Just let's go on this journey together, shall we? All right, I did my usual little scooch. I'm gonna be putting pictures right up here of everything I talk about, and I will link as many products down below as I can. If they are not out yet, I will try to put the release date with everything so that you can grab it. And as always, I'm only gonna be talking about cruelty-free makeup releases because that's the only kind of makeup I talk about or use, so let's get into it. Now, I haven't done one of these in a while, so I might be going back kind of far on these just to really dig in because again, it has been a long time. I do feel like this is a good place to start. Okay, this is about two weeks ago and I'm gonna be scrolling up to new. So again, some of these have come out, some of these have not yet come out, but the Halloween collection by my friend Angie and Odin's Eye, I really love this collection, okay? This came out, I believe is September 18th, or maybe that was just the reveal. No, September 20th is when it actually came out, forgive me. And there's two eyeshadow palettes, five lip products, and you know, some extras and things like that. It's a really great collection. I think the standouts are obviously the palettes. They are really beautifully pigmented. There's two very different color stories, but you can use the palettes together, of course, as always. And I just think it's a really cool take on a Halloween color story. I personally love a Halloween color story that is typical as well, okay? I am a basic Halloween loving bitch, but I really do feel like these gave an interesting take. The lip products are really cool, but I will say if you're not into like orangey brown lips, you might not be into these. I personally love an orangey brown lip, so I love them, but I know a lot of people that's not their bag. So if you are not into that part, you can skip over it. But again, this is available now. I think some of the stuff might have sold out, like there were these little like stuffed animal keychains, but for the most part, if it's still available, I do highly recommend those palettes. All right, I'm really gonna need you guys to help me on this one. So it is kind of difficult to find cruelty-free fragrance brands, right? And one brand that I have not tried yet that is cruelty-free is, and I hope I'm pronouncing this right, is Kayali, okay? K-A-Y-A-L-I. They're very much known for this pistachio perfume they have that I've been wanting to try. I might actually try and go smell it today, but they are coming out with a new, I'm gonna, per I'm gonna butcher this name, Oud, it's so, O-U-D is Oud, correct? Is that how you spell it? So Oudgasm Collection, there are four fragrances. There's Vanilla Oud, there's Rose Oud, Tobacco Oud, and Cafe Oud. Cafe, coffee, yes, cappuccino being one of the top notes. That's the one that's most appealing to me. Now, these are a little pricier. They're uh, $38 for a 10 milliliter. 140 for a 50 mil, okay? So this is available October 1st. So the day that I'm filming this, these are available. Let me know if you've tried this brand, what you think of the quality, what are your favorite scents, and are you looking to try any of these? That Cafe Oud, like, oh my God, if coffee is a top note, yes. One of my favorite perfumes of all time has cola. Cola, like Coca-Cola as a top note. So I've been really, really wanting to try this brand. Let me know your thoughts, please, 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 because Perfume is expensive, but I think I've decided I wanna treat myself to one fancy one sometime this year. 
and we're really quickly approaching the end of this year, so I need to get on this. Oh, so this is available now. ColourPop came out with a collection called 1111, and there's no doubting that this is a neutral collection, okay? We've got browns, we've got golds. I think it's primarily warm tone. There's some pinks and peaches in there, but it just looks so beautiful. I want kind of all of it. So there's the You're on the Right Path eyeshadow palette for $18 for 12 shades. There are three shades of a pressed powder blush. Those are $12 each. There's the Lux Lipstick Blur. That is not my vibe because I don't like that blurred effect, but the colors look so good, which is a sin. They are $10 each, there's four shades. And then there are three new shadow sticks, and one of them is like this taupey, almost like olive green that I'm loving. Those are $8 each. So this was available September 21st. I... I, mm, I don't need this. This collection, I know I don't need because I need another neutral palette like I need a hole in the head. Maybe I do need another hole in the head. I've been thinking about getting more ear piercings, but I'm terrified of piercings. That's another story altogether. But really like this collection did catch my eye. It really did. And like, I thought it was gonna be like the Haunted Mansion collection that was gonna catch my eye because I am a Disney adult, but it wasn't. It was this one shockingly and I'm holding off buying it but it's killing me a little bit inside. Why do I want all these things so far? I feel like usually by this point in this video, I'm usually like, hell no, this sucks. And this time I'm like, just give it all to me. Here's my wallet, thank you. Oh, okay, okay. Well, this is the point where I say, this sucks, I don't want this. Anastasia Beverly Hills for the holidays is coming out with nine pan versions of their typical, how many pans are they usually? 14 pan palettes. There are the mini eyeshadow palettes of the mini modern renaissance, the mini sultry. I think I've just completely fallen off the Anastasia eyeshadow train. Like I want none of it. I really want none of it. I don't know what it is. I used to think the eyeshadows they put out were such high quality. And then for some reason, I just don't anymore. I have found so many indie brands that are doing eyeshadow better than Anastasia Beverly Hills. They are not my vibe anymore. But let me know what you think. Honestly, like they, Oh God, the one that I really don't understand. Okay, the Sultry palette was never my thing. I'm gonna start by saying that, but I know that was such a big heavy hitter of theirs. The nine pan does not even look like it was taken from the Sultry. No, I guess it was, but I feel like the standout shades of Sultry were like that pale dusty uh, shimmery pink and the bright pink, and then there's like a bright gold and they put none of that in the nine pan. Like none of it, I don't get it. It's supposed to be available in October. It does not say when, but I just, I want none of this. It had, it does nothing for me. Does it do something for you? Do you still like Anastasia shadows? I just don't. And there's a part of me that kind of wishes I did, but I don't. Okay, this is interesting. So this is by Kim Chi Chic. Um, and these are what, eyeshadow palette quads. There's four of them. There's ruby, emerald, sapphire, and diamond, $16 each, available now. I want none of these. These look like either the Huda Beauty palettes that came out that were sort of monochromatic or the ColourPop palettes that came out that were sort of monochromatic. These just don't look attractive to me at all. Like at all, at all. And I also can't tell. There's like a sheet of like not quite glitter stickers, but you know what I mean? Like those little rhinestones that you would get and you'd put on your face that you got from Claire's when you were about 12 years old and you thought you were the coolest. There's a sheet of those in each picture, except the red one. I don't know if that's just like for a flat lay or if they actually come, I don't know. I'm not getting any of this at all. Like it just doesn't look intriguing to me. I'll be honest, like I haven't bought anything from that brand because nothing has intrigued me enough to want to buy it. So these are a big hell no for me. A Big hell no. What do you think? Tell me in the comments down below, but there's a, no, not for me. Hmm, okay, I have to admit, this next one is intriguing to me, but I know I'm not going to buy it. So this is just a sneak sneak peek, rather. Uh, Patrick Ta is coming out with eye toppers. So first of all, one thing I will say, I love that immediately they're like, these are toppers, these are not eyeshadow. Because I feel like, maybe I'm wrong on this, I feel like a lot of brands will come out with a sparkly eyeshadow and everyone looks at it and it's beautiful. And then they test it and they're like, this is so sheer. And then the brand comes out and they're like, oh, that was just meant to be a topper. That's not meant to be a pigmented eyeshadow. Right off the bat here, Patrick Ta is like, no, 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 this is a topper. I appreciate that. So. There's a lot of reasons I'm not gonna buy this though. Number one, I don't need like a sifter of loose eyeshadow. Way back in the day, I loved loose eyeshadow. Like those MAC 
pigment pots, is that what they were called, or MAC pigments, were my jam, okay? I loved them. But nowadays, I just don't need a loose eyeshadow, especially not like, this is essentially loose glitter. It's just glitter, right? I, mm, I don't know. I am intrigued though, because I like the idea how one of them is like a gold sparkle, one of them is a white sparkle, so you could transform so many different looks. But this is nothing I don't have. This is nothing I don't have. So there's no date on it or anything. It just says coming soon, and this was a teaser. This is, I'm not getting that. It's pretty. I'm sure it probably looks nice on some you know, 103 pound model that they're gonna show it on. I don't need it though. She can have it. She can have it, I don't need it. Okay, here's another one that did intrigue me, but I'm not going to buy it. That's maybe the phrase of this. This intrigues me, but I'm not going to buy it. Urban Decay came out with, and it's available now, a Moon Dust eyeshadow palette. So there are four shades in here, and they have um, Space Cowboy, which I absolutely love. And also, by the way, hmm, they do say limited edition and they list the prices in Canadian dollars. So I wonder if this is available in the US. Oh, it does say Canada online. I'm gonna have to look into that and I'll put a note you know, in the description box if this is available in the US, but they have the Space Cowboy uh, Moondust Iconic Eyeshadow Palette. Oh, there's two palettes. Okay, so the Space Cowboy Palette and the Galactic Cowgirl Moondust Palette. Interesting, and each one has four different shades. Okay, so this one, which I believe is the Space Cowboy one? Yes, this is Space Cowboy. It has like a gold shimmer, a peach shimmer, a rose shimmer, and a bronze shimmer. And then the other one has, I don't know, they, they look much cooler tone. There's like a blue shimmer and like a white shimmer. But anyway, they're intriguing because I like that moon dust formula. I'm not buying them though. I'm not buying them because I just have so many sparkles that are better at this point. I don't know. What do you think? So these are retailing for 57 CAD. Um, yeah, this is no. This is no, right? Correct. I would like to touch them. I want to touch them. I'm not going to buy them. I don't think. I'm not going to. I'm not going to buy them. Okay, let's talk about Glam Light Ghost Face. So this only came out just a few days ago. I believe it was available on the 29th. And I did not and will not be purchasing any of this. So the only thing that I was intrigued by was this eyeshadow palette that is very deep, dark, cool tones, okay? And this is just, I don't know, it's kind of sexy to me. It's a kind of sexy palette, but I don't wear these shades enough to justify this. And I do have these shades elsewhere in my collection. So that's why I was able to say no to it. And also, uh, I'm not gonna lie, my experience with the Glam Light Scooby-Doo collection and the shipping time was not good. It took a very, very long time to get to me and I was really bummed by that. So I just, I don't know. I mean, I know that I have that instant gratification thing, but I do, I want my makeup when I want my makeup. And if you don't tell me that it's gonna be a long time and then suddenly you're like, oh psych, it's gonna be actual months, I kind of get pissed at you, okay? And this collection, I don't know, it, it looks nice. I've seen some people do beautiful looks with it, but it's not one that I'm getting. But I wanna know, how do you feel about Glam Light as a whole? Because I thought that the opinion was overwhelmingly positive for them, but now as I like look online, I'm seeing some kind of negative feedback, especially about their customer service. So I'd really like to know your opinion about that. I don't necessarily have a bad opinion of Glam Light, but I would really like to know yours. I do know that I believe it's the day this is coming out, they're revealing another collection, or it might be the day that I'm filming this. So they have a bunch coming out during Halloween, and I think it's gonna be Nightmare on Elm Street, I really do, and that is my favorite horror movie franchise, so I'm curious, but at the same time, like, I don't know. I, I don't know how I'm feeling about Glam Light. Let me know your thoughts. Okay, this is also available now. It is a collection by ELF in collaboration with Jennifer Coolidge. Now, Jennifer Coolidge, is a goddess among women, okay? She is an absolute treasure and we must protect her at all costs. However, this lip kit, like, is it is it not the same thing as the Michaela lip kit? Is it, are they different? I think they're actually different, but are they different? It's really just a light pink lip kit, which is probably really nice, but like, I don't want any lip kits anymore, okay? I don't want any lip kits. Now, I will say, I do like how it is $25 for a lipstick, a lip gloss, a lip pencil, a mirror. That's fantastic. I love the price point. Let me know if you've used e.l.f. lip stuff before, because I don't think that, you know what? I haven't used e.l.f. anything in a very long time. I never bought the Halo Glow, which I was really curious about. There's a lot 
I've been kind of curious about, but never curious enough to actually fork over the dough to purchase from e.l.f. I would love to know your thoughts on this. I have no interest, really. I have no interest. It's a nude lip kit. It's pink. I'm sure it's pretty. I'm sure you could give this to your mom or your boss and they would love it. But like, if you're somebody who's pretty into makeup, which is probably, I can imagine the only reason you'd even watch a video like this, you have this in your collection. Do you hear me? I'm looking, I'm talking right to you. You have this in your collection. Does that matter necessarily? No, it doesn't. Because have I bought things that are already in my collection? You bet your fucking ass I have. Do I want more of it? Yes. Do I want this? I, no, I don't. I don't, do you? Do you? Here is another one that intrigued me. So this is on pre-order right now, okay? But I do know that some people have gotten box, PR boxes of it or they've already ordered it and received it. But this is by Unearthly Cosmetics and it is the Devour Collection. So we have eight items. We have a 12 pan palette. We have a blush highlighter duo, three satin liquid lipsticks, two lip glosses, one lip oil. I am fairly new to Unearthly Cosmetics. Like this year is the first time I've used them. Everything I've used, the quality is bar none amazing. Like I used it mainly for this look that I did today. I used the Don't Be Jelly palette along with some other stuff. I actually, by the way, everything that's on my face will be listed in the description box down below as well. So the quality, I know the quality is there. But when I look at this color story, I know that personally... I would need to bring in other palettes to supplement this. So it's not to say that I don't think these are beautiful colors because I absolutely do, but personally I know that I would want other palettes to complement this because like you've got purple and then you've got this kind of rosy pink and you've got brown and you've got lots of greens that are beautiful. I don't feel, the color story doesn't do it for me. The color story doesn't do it for me personally, but I know the quality is there. That's one of the only reasons I was like kind of twitching about it. And their pans are all magnetic. So you could technically swap these with maybe the Don't Be Jelly palette and make your perfect palette. So I can understand why somebody would be really attracted to this. And like I said, I've seen some gorgeous looks done with this. It's not my vibe. I do like how the collection, and I'm not sure, it doesn't list individual prices, so I think you might have to buy the whole collection, but I do think it's pretty reasonably priced at $145 for all of that. Like, again, you're getting three lipsticks, two glosses, one lip oil, a palette, a blush du highlighter duo. You're getting a lot for the money, but I'm not gonna be purchasing this. Are you considering purchasing this one? Let me know. Okay, so. This is one that I'm sure a few of you've probably wanted my opinion on. The new Melt Cosmetics um, Nightmare Before Christmas collection. My plan is to buy it all. My, my plan is to buy it all. <laughs> so here's the thing. When I started my low buy, okay, which was the beginning of 2022, my goal was to have one year of a low buy, but I set certain rules for myself. So I didn't set rules that was like, I can only spend $30 per month on makeup, or I can only, you know, buy one piece a month. I basically said to myself, like, I don't want to purchase any new makeup items unless it's unique to my collection, is replacing something old, or it absolutely brings me joy. Or if it's Melt Cosmetics. <laughs> like, I literally put a caveat in there for Melt Cosmetics collection because at the time, Melt was coming out one after the other after the other with these huge collections that made me so happy. They were so big. We had Beetlejuice. We had the Amore Eterno collection. We had, you know, all these beautiful collections that were so well thought out and so pigmented. And they just really like, they made me twitch, like literally twitch. They made my insides vibrate, okay? And then something happened where they just weren't intriguing me anymore. Like they came out with that Zodiac collection with those mini palettes and I just didn't want any of it. And just, they weren't intriguing to me anymore. So I didn't wind up buying any really big Melt Cosmetics collection. I have bought one palette since beginning of 2022 and that's really it. Like I haven't been intrigued until now. This whole collection, which retails, I'm not gonna lie, for 175 and comes out on October 1st, is really intriguing to me, okay? I will say right off the bat, I don't love in the palette how the eyeshadows are like this. I feel like that's a waste of space and I don't like it when brands waste space in their packaging, but it does look really cool. And it also kind of looks like um, coffins that are in the ground askew from each other. I don't know why I think that, but I like it, okay? And I just, 
I really want those lip colors. I want the highlighter. I want that bag. I want all of it. And I'm really hoping I can get it. If I do, of course, there's going to be a very, very thorough review on here because I want to tell you all about it and if the quality is there. Because some people I know really, like I've heard people saying that Melt is in their flop era right now and that they're just not the tits anymore. And I understand that point of view, but I wanna see for myself if this is a brand that I still completely stan or if it's time to kind of like let them go a little bit. So stay tuned. If I'm able to get this, this collection, you will see a review here on my channel. Okay, here's one of those hell no for me <laughs> is that um, ColourPop came out with an extension or not an extension, but like an addition to their Sailor Moon collection. So this has a new uh, pressed powder palette a crystal powdered so dewy face gloss, a pressed powder highlighter, a cream gel liner, lip duo. It's got all this stuff. It's available October 1st, so it's available right now as you're watching this, I believe. Does it list a time? It doesn't list a time, uh, but I do know they have it at Ulta. I just have no interest in this. It's the Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon collection. Um, and I, I, I believe it's Guardian. There's like a little um, accent symbol, so it might be Guardian. I don't know, forgive me if I'm mispronouncing that. But I just, I have no interest in this. First of all, I have no take in the Sailor Moon game. Sailor Moon was never really my bag, but this color story just doesn't intrigue me even a little bit. So this is a no from me. I can understand why a lot of you might want it. And it's a shame that you're wrong like that. I'm just kidding. If you want it, buy it, please. Do what makes you happy. We are on a rock hurtling through space and we have a limited time here. Do what makes you fucking happy. So I just don't want this, but if you do, I'm cheering you on, babe. Is You've got to be kidding me. Okay, uh, Alamar Cosmetics did a Flaming Hot Cheeto collection. God, are you serious? It comes out October 5th at 9 a.m. PST. We've got an eyeshadow quad for $24 for a quad. Okay, we've got a plumping lip blush. Plumping lip blush. Okay, for $20. Plumping lip liner for $16. A duo ended cheek stick for 25 and a black liquid liner for 14. No, like, <laughs> no, I have no interest in this. Like if it's a quad, it better be so effing special that I can't live without it. I have all these colors. This has been done before. I want none of this. Like, oh my God, you know what? I don't need any more food collabs. Am I gonna bite, like, am I biting myself in the ass when I say that? Like, do I want any food collabs whatsoever? I don't need food collabs. Flaming hot cheap. Dude, I don't understand the obsession people have with Flaming Hot Cheetos. Are they delicious? Of course they're delicious, but it's a Cheeto. Like, you guys need to go outside and touch some grass if your biggest obsession are Cheetos. I'm, I'm just saying. Okay, it looks like this is available now. It is the 2023 Holiday Collection from KVD Beauty. There's an eyeshadow palette. There is a liquid lipstick and lip liner duo, a liquid lipstick vault, um, and a Tattoo Duo Waterproof Eyeliner Set. Absolutely not. I want none of this. I want none of this. And like, I'm not going to lie. Like, I know that there's only so much edgy you can do. But like, when I used to use KVD Beauty way back in the day, when it was still Kat Von D at the helm, it was very like edgy, rock and roll, cool, like stuff you want to wear to uh, see, I don't know, to see Motorhead in person, R.I.P. Lemmy. But... I feel like this, I thought it was Pat McGrath when I first looked at it, okay? Because you've got those kind of dusty pastel-y shades. And so many people are into that, but I'm just not one of them. Um, also, I have not used KVD Beauty since, you know, um, they stopped working with Kat Von D. I've never used KVD Beauty. So, I mean, I am curious to try something again in the future, but I don't want this. I don't know what I want. I just don't want this. Okay, so here's another one. This is available now. And let me say, I understand why so many people are like rabid for this one. Did my eyes just go cross there? Did I say rabid for this one? <laughs> I get it, okay? I get it. And I have friends who have used this and they love it. But it's the Blend Bunny Sickly Sweet Collection. I don't like pastels, really. I do not like pastels. They're not my vibe. I just, they're not my thing. They're not my thing personally, but, but, that being said, I know why so many of you like this and why so many of you are intrigued by this. It looks beautiful and it's $44 for a 20, no, I'm sorry, a 30 shade palette, which is great. Now, I, I don't really like those massive palettes anymore, 
but I understand why this specific one is very intriguing to a lot of people and the colors are different from each other. It looks like a great range. So I'm happy for the people that want something like this because this is fairly like new and it's really going to top off a lot of people's collections. It just will not be in my collection. I don't know why I'm doing this hand motion. Good God, there's a lot of stuff coming out. Okay. This is another one that's intriguing to me, but I absolutely will not buy this. Uh, Juvia's Place, it's available now. They came out with a new eyeshadow palette called Afro Galactic, and these colors are beautiful. This color story is really, really cool. And I don't know if I would see the color story in my head if it didn't have this gorgeous cover to it, but I can see it, okay? I can see it there. And what are the other ones? Glitter eyeliners, four glitter eyeliners. I don't need like a baby pink and a baby blue and a baby purple uh, glitter eyeliner. But that being said, that palette really is gorgeous. I'm just, I don't need it. I don't want it. I don't need it and I don't want it. So, I mean, if you're into it, great. Good for you. Again, it's available now. I just don't want that. <laughs> I'm going, you know what? You guys are going to have to let me know which indie Instagram accounts you follow because all the ones that I used to follow are all gone. Like they haven't updated since like August at the earliest. For the most part, it's even further than that. Okay, this one's 54 minutes ago. Okay, this isn't as indie, but still like, where did they all go? So help me out and tell me your favorites down below. Whew, okay, this is a little difficult. So this one is called The Spirit of Sleepy Hollow. Okay, the artwork looks a little janky, but it's by Notorious Morbid, Notoriously Morbid, okay? And it's a 15 shade palette and it's very fall themed. The color story is delicious to me. Do I have all these shades? Of course I have all these shades, but that is very delicious to me. It really, really is. What's not delicious is the price. It is $50. And this is something that I've been seeing lately and let me preface it by saying, first of all, we are like inflation is crazy. Okay. Inflation is crazy. And I understand makeup brands can't make palettes for $15. Okay. Especially if the quality is good, it's not going to be 10, $15. And now I know that places like Elf can make a great palette for inexpensive, but with these indie brands, they have less access to like bulk, you know, printing and everything like that. So the prices will be higher, but something I feel like I've been seeing lately, like Palettes for like $60, $70, $100 by an indie brand that I've never personally gotten to use. And when I've never been able to use it and there's no place I can go and test the quality myself, it's really hard for me to make that jump. And a lot of people are like, no, you have to support indie. And I want to. I want to support indie. I really do. But that part of it is hard for me. And I'd love to know your thoughts on how you feel about that because that's something that like, I definitely struggle with a little bit, but this is a palette. I'm not gonna be purchasing it, but I would love to know your thoughts. All right, so this is already out and I want to talk to you about another one that kind of is actually like, when I say making me twitch, I really want, I want to buy it. <laughs> this palette available now, it was available quite a while ago actually, is the Gourmand Girls and Doodles the Bunny Haunted palette. This color story is so sexual to me. It is so sexual, it makes me twitch and I want it so badly, but it is quite expensive. This palette is $55. And again, I've never tried this brand. So I am relying on friends and everything who have tried it and who talk about how amazing and lovely it is, but it's still difficult for me to spend $55 on this palette. But look at this color story. Like, does this do anything for you? Because it does so much for me. Those swampy greens combined with the bright purples combined with, let's be honest here, that metallic lime glitter on the bottom. Like, there's so much about this that is so, so, so attractive to me. I might wind up buying this one. Please tell me your thoughts, okay? If you've used Gourmand Girls, I need to know your opinions. And also just tell me if I should buy it or not. Cause I want it. <laughs> and you know what, we're gonna stop there. I've been jabbering on for a very long time at this point. I think I've been jabbering on for like 50 minutes here. I'm gonna have to edit this down a bit so you guys aren't bored to tears. But I need to know what new releases, whether they've just come out or whether they're coming out soon, what are you most excited for? What are you planning on buying? What have you bought recently? What has been your favorite purchase recently? Please tell me all of it because even though I'm on a low buy, I still do like to keep up with new makeup. And also, like I said, I really wanna treat myself right now. So, I mean, it's gonna be that melt collection if I can get my hands on it, but that Gourmand, Gourmand Girls palette, 
is so beautiful to me and so inspiring. So I feel like I need some of that in my life, especially because right now I've been getting back into color again. I've been loving playing with color. So anyway, that's it. Everything I talked about, I'm gonna link as many things as possible. I will find as many affiliate codes from other people as possible because I don't have many myself, but I wanna see if I can get you guys discounts wherever I can. Everything is in the description box down below. And if those are affiliate links that go through me and you decide to purchase those items, thank you so, so much for doing that because it does support my channel, helps me to keep going, helps me to push through. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up because that really does help out my channel. You all can follow me on Facebook Instagram and TikTok. Those are all glitter fallout. And as always, and forever and evermore, you are super freaking rock stars. I love you so much with my whole heart and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.